Whoa! It wasn't doing that before. There's a real visceral sense of being immersed in the game when you're holding something physical in your hand and you do it. The controller itself really contributes to the feeling that you are a wizard. You have a magic wand in your hand, and Finn has a magic wand in his hand. It's the best one-to-one -one connection with a character that I've ever felt. When we first took the controller and whirled it over our head and saw the apprentice conjure a tornado out of the ground, it's like, that is something different. That is not just another press the button and cast your spell. He just conjured a tornado. This is awesome. Sorcery High Concept started out as a very iconic demand. What if you one day found a magic wand in a box? What would you do with it? What would you try? What would you hope and imagine that it could do? This is fun! Sorcery is designed from the ground up to be a move title. With a lot of games, you start sort of retrofitting, saying, oh, we're going to take an existing game that has a, uh, a dual shock uh, control scheme, and then try to figure out how to work the move into that. But with Sorcery, from the very beginning, we built everything around um, making the move an essential, central part of gameplay. Of many places that I've worked, our studios are a little different in that we are a little more physical, and we kind of embrace that, especially working with the move. So when you cast a spell, and to, to throw up your arm in a shield is really something that came out of how we talked about the game. A lot of the motion control games that you see, it's sort of like it's detecting that you're doing something, but it's not precise. What really excites me when I play Sorcery is the degree of control you have. So if I'm using it to cast arcane bolts at somebody, it actually matters where I'm pointing the controller at the screen. But we could also have the player put English on it. So for example, you know, if you cast like this or cast like that, that actually hooks the bolts around and arcs them in interesting ways. So it becomes a very technical, a very skill-based gameplay experience. Fighting is active. Drawing a firewall, throwing a bolt through it. Those movements are quick, fast. Spell switching is on the fly, and it's a movement, it's not a button press. As you get deeper into sorcery, you learn more spells. You gain a command over the elements, ice, fire, wind, electricity. Then we found that combining them was cool. Cast your whirlwind through fire, the fire is sucked up off the ground, and your whirlwind becomes a fire tornado. Cast your bolts into a fire nato and fire bolts are multiplied and spread throughout the arena. Every spell in sorcery can be combined with the other spells to produce a deep combo system that lets you just attack your enemies in a wide variety of ways to maximum advantage. A troll! That thing is huge! This way, come on! The boss fights in our game is where the player has to really put his mind to work. You have to be aware of your environment, you have to be aware of your arsenal. Everything that we put into a boss fight is indispensable in taking out the boss. Hey, you! Sorcerer! Finn, we don't have time for this. You don't have time for not this, smart cat. Potions are the way to power. Alchemy is the flip side of all the action gameplay. In Alchemy, you're using the motion controller, but it's not under the pressure of combat. You discover many unusual ingredients. So our alchemy system, which is the key to level progression, involves mixing these elements together. And we make sure that with our move, we do this in a very visceral sort of a way. We want to create a feeling of that you weren't just fighting things all the time, that you really were a wizard who had a wide variety of different magic at your disposal. With the move controller, we found that you have an enormous breadth of things you can do to accomplish simple tasks, and even though these things are often not hard or challenging, they connect you to the magic you're creating in a way that a button just never would have done. That's the heart of what makes the motion control experience potentially a permanent part of serious hardcore gaming is people are realizing that this device lets me have a much richer interaction with the world than any traditional gaming device. I feel that we've given people a really solid, playable game experience that uses the move like it's meant to be used as a serious gaming control device to reach down and pick it up and to be that apprentice who is reaching out and grabbing a wand, the master's wand for the first time, and feeling the power of it surge through him just as you realize the power that you yourself are experiencing as a player.